Welcome back. Next, let's take a look at your Google Calendar. You get to that up here in your non little boxes, and it's Calendar. If you don't already utilize this, let me encourage you to look around and look at the playlist and do all the things you can do with an online calendar. Get it on your phone, get all organized. Show your students how to get all organized and show them how to unsubscribe from some things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is how to hide a calendar you don't need. I have this many calendars that show up when they're all selected and I don't need them all. So the easiest thing to do is to click on those three little dots and say hide from list. Suddenly I don't see all of that. It's when I'm subscribed to and I might like to look at it again someday, but I don't need it typically. And I it's certainly not something that I'm going to worry about. And so I can, I can hide that calendar. That's the first thing to consider. You can change the colors, you can display, you can do all kinds of stuff, but Here's what that looks like again. Uncheck it, it goes away. The easiest thing you can do. There's, there's hiding a calendar, okay? First thing to do as you're looking at your Google Calendar, hide the ones that you don't need right now. You might like to come back to them later, but you don't need to see them all the time, all right? That's hiding. Next up, we'll talk about unsubscribing, and then we'll talk about deleting and what those different things mean, but for this, this excerpt, this blurb, hide the calendars that you just don't need to see but might still like access to in the future.